going to be another beauty empties video. I've not done one again for a little while and I do have a few empties that I want to share with you and I will let you know if I would repurchase them again. So I've got a little collection here, oops, in one of my old glossy boxes. So I'm just going to go through them. There are, um, they're mainly like um, a few body care sort of things, um, hair care, bits and pieces anyway. So let's get into the box and I will show you my empties. So the first empty that I've got this month is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish and this is the Hot Cloth Cleanser. So this um, was gifted to me from a friend and it's the first time that I'd ever tried it and I really, really liked it. So me and my mum shared this, which is why we've gone through it a little bit quicker than I usually would. And you pop this onto your um, face when your face is dry, rub it in, take your muslin cloth that you get, well you bite it separately to the cleanser, I think. I think that's right. You rinse it under the water, wring it out, and then sort of wipe away the um, makeup or dirt and oil from your skin and it just works really nicely. It smells really nice, I like the packaging, I like how much you get, this is 150ml. This one um, says it's a limited edition, it's the Jasmine and Os Osmanthus, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yes, I would buy this again because I think it's very nice. The next thing that I have that is empty, which I'm terribly upset about, is the Oscar Renaissance Mask. Yes, I am sure you've heard me banging on about this in the last couple of months since I got it inside a Look Fantastic box. This is so, so empty. I've literally got the last dregs of it out, but I can still smell the gorgeous scent while I'm talking about it. So this is quite possibly the best face mask that I have ever, ever used in my life. It smells like rose, it feels like a dream on your skin. And it just really nourishes, hydrates, comforts and soothes. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this and I will be repurchasing this as soon as I can. Next is something that I also got in a beauty box subscription and it's the Mio Liquid Yoga Restorative Bath Soak. I love having baths. I'm not a shower kind of person. If I've got the choice between a bath and a shower, I will always go for the bath and I like to have a luxurious bath. I don't just like any old bath. It has to have bubbles, candles, oil, a nice drink on the side, relaxing music or YouTube playing in the background. I just like to make it a big occasion. So this was absolutely perfect for me. It smells really, really nice. It's like a spa bath. It just smells quite, I want to say the pepperminty. I'm not sure if that's right though. Anyway, it's to um, relax, restore and remineralize. And it says, warning, may cause relaxation and happiness. This is true, it does cause happiness. It's a really, really nice bath soak. Particularly good if you're feeling a little bit unwell or if you've had a really intense workout, which I do every day. So yeah, try this in your bath if you want to really relax. Next is this little beauty, which is coconut scented and it's an after sun lotion and this smells divine. It's from De Bruyere and it is so, so nice. I got this in one of my summer beauty boxes and I've just been using it as a moisturizer rather than an after sun, but I've used the tiniest amount each time because I didn't want to run out because I liked it that much. I love the packaging. I think that's a really cute little tube and it just looks so summery and sort of like Hawaiian and tropical, really, really nice. So this makes your skin feel amazing after sun or just at any time, to be honest, if you just feel like you need a little bit of moisture and your skin will smell beautiful for it. So yes, I would repurchase this too. Next on the list is, I can't actually see, oh, there it is. <laughs> Next on the list is the Caviar Anti-Aging Moisture Intense Oil Cream Free Shampoo Treatment for very dry, coarse hair. So this came in a beauty box as well. Um, I have used it up. Um, I like it, it does work. Not so keen on the scent of it. To be perfectly honest, I prefer using pure coconut oil on my hair before I wash it as a treatment. So I would not repurchase this again. And the bank sighs with relief at the sound of that. No repurchase. 
Thank the Lord. Next, I'll move on to another hair item, which is the Purology Colour Fanatic Instant Deep Conditioning Mask. So this, again, is a really, really nice treatment. It's a hair mask. I use this probably once or twice a week to get my hair back into um, better condition because it does tend to dry out quite easily. It's really, really nice. My bugbear with this is the packaging. You squeeze this down to get your product out, but when you start to run out of the product, it's quite hard to get out of the packaging. So I think there is like a, a tiny little bit left in here. Um, I did enjoy using it. This has got 21 essential benefits, which is meant to be amazing for your hair. At the time when I was using it, I probably would have repurchased it because I did really, really like it. But now I have tried a few other different brands and I, I sway more towards those. So no, I would have repurchased this, but yes, I very much enjoyed using it. Next is a cult favourite from Too Faced and it's the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. First of all, I love this packaging. It's sort of like a metallic sort of packaging with um, little raindrops on it to make it look wet, which I really, really like. And the brush is quite a chunky brush and you would have thought probably that this would make your lashes look quite clumpy and be quite drying, but no. This is amazing at separating the lashes, elongating and adding that gorgeous volume. I really, really like this um, mascara and yes, I will repurchase it. I've heard a few people talking about this mascara in the past and they've said that it dried out really quickly for them. I didn't find this at all. I found that this formula stayed really, really nice the whole time that I was using the mascara, which is probably about three months, something like that. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's a good buy. Next empty is my beloved Carmex. So this is the Cherry Carmex, which is, oh, it smells so, so nice. I love Carmex. You'll know this if you watch my channel or if you follow me on my um, website, uh, blog, sorry. You will know that I am a diehard Carmex fan. So when I saw the Cherry one, I just thought I'd try it out and I really, really liked it. It just gives you that nice, sweet scent. It kind of reminds me of um, Baby All Gone with the cherries, the little cherry pot that she used to have. So I really like that. I always have extras of Carmex around the house, so I will always, always repurchase Carmex. And my last two things, um, which are my empties, they're not so much um, beauty products, but I use them to aid beauty. <laughs> so these are the Nelson's um, homeopathic remedies. They're the little click packs, which contain, I think there's 80 pillules in each of these. This one is Thua or Thuja, and this one is Sulfur. They are both 30C in strength, and I take these daily to help control my acne. If I don't take these, I can guarantee that I'm going to break out really badly. So I really, really like to take these to keep everything under control. I'm not taking the Sulfur anymore, but I am still taking Thua or Thuja however you pronounce it. So I do have um, another little tube of this. This is something that I just, I can't live without. It's a holy grail at the moment. So if you're struggling with acne, try this out. I will link my blog post about this in the um, description bar so you can take a look at the before and after pictures of my face before I tried this, honestly. You, you won't believe how amazing it is, it's incredible. So that is everything for my empties video for November. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and also please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'd love to have you on board and love to see you again on another video. Bye!